I just couldn't stand it anymore, so I packed up my mud boss and went outside to the backyard. There wasn't a whole lot of grass grown under this tree anyway, so this became the designated test track for me. Between my rat rod and out of mud bus, what grass was there is quickly getting torn out. Eventually I want to have some kind of fence or wall or something just to mark off where the track actually ends, but until then, I got a mud boss to run. From the first squeeze of the trigger, it was obvious that we've got plenty of power for this track anyway. I haven't changed a thing on the mud bus. I just made sure that the radio was going in the right direction and all the wheels seemed to be pointed right. I'm going to start off by just running a bunch of batteries through here and getting a feel for the car and then I'll start thinking about what I want to change. One of the first things I learned is that the mud bus seems to like going into the turns really hard. And it seems to like to ride up around where the wall should be. We have to remember though that I've got a whole lot more to learn about the race car than the race car does about me. By the end of the second battery this morning, I was starting to actually look like I was getting around the track a little bit. I was seeing early on that the Hoosier-like tires are doing a really good job, especially when I send it in on a decent line. This is mostly just plain old dirt that I hosed down some this morning. Nonetheless, give these tires a chance and they get a good grip on the ground. But if you get the steering and the throttle fingers screwed up, it just turns around and waits on you. I really could use some Expo built into my throttle finger, because I'm getting on the gas too hard too early. Right out of the box, the speed control is set up fine, and lets you just squeeze on the power when you have the brains to do that. My brand new track is really lumpy, but I was surprised to see how well the suspension on the Mud Boss is handling it. On the laps where I was able to be a little more restrained with the throttle, the Mud Boss gets off the turns really well. Other times, I kind of faked it out. On the laps where I got the Mud Boss into the corner at the right place with a lot of speed, it looks spectacular going around the corner. On those laps, the Mud Boss drifts very nicely and takes very little steering to guide it around the corner. On the laps where I could just let it slide that little bit longer before getting on the gas, it would get off the corners really strong. I over-rotated this thing big time, but the Mud Boss just sat down and dug its way out. I like a chassis that helps when I screw up. I modern a camera inside the car right at the driver's eyes level so you could see when I run into stuff. I did manage to stress test this mud bus a little bit, but didn't break a thing. I saw a lot of people talking about how strong all the components left on this chassis, and it turns out they were right. It just wouldn't be a short track if we didn't get it on its head at least once. Here I put together a couple of decent laps, and I should have known that when I start building up speed, I'm going to hit something. And we did. And hit it hard. The body's raised up a little bit there because it just popped on top of the nerf bars. But despite running into that concrete pole, the body and the nerf bars are both fine. And we weren't quite done with the stress testing, so I built up a little bit of speed and come around and tried blasting a garden wagon. Once again, everything was just fine. This video is actually being posted late because I spent so much time watching clips like this where you could watch that chassis work. Stuff like this is telling me that as I start trying to tune this car for myself, I'm going to go in really small steps. I need to spend more time practicing with the main boss and getting my fingers working right before I start making any big changes to the chassis. Despite running on a terrible surface with about four battery packs of total experience, the mud boss is getting around the track way better than I expected. This is my first Traxxas car, but I have to say that I'm really impressed. I think the mud bus is designed very well and it has all the right equipment on it right out of the box. Combine the handling and the power with the durability that Traxxas built into this and you got a great spec racer. This is going to be a great package for new people to get into the hobby and have a good time. I think I'm done editing this video and I got batteries charging so I have to go out and practice. Oh woe is me.